Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Melanie and I share with you guys about my life after cancer. It has been a very long time since I posted a video and to be frank, I just, um, I think I just got overwhelmed. I mean, it's not that I didn't have the time. I definitely had the time, didn't we all? But and to be totally honest, I have no good excuse. I just haven't posted videos, but school is officially out and I am really prepared to have consistent videos going out over the summer. I know I always say this eventually, I'll actually stay consistent, but I think this is gonna work this time because I have this planner that my friend told me about, which I'm not gonna talk about in this video, but if I find that it really works, I will do a whole video about that. Now, if you did watch what I think was my last video, then you saw that we just got a house. And at this point now, it's actually been about three months since we've got a house. And in the last video or in one of the last videos, I had showed you guys the empty house tour and we are all moved in. Obviously we've been moved in for quite a while and things are kind of starting to come along. And so I wanted to give you an updated house tour video. Uh, before I do that, I just wanted to give you a quick life update. Um, Honestly, not much has changed. <laughs> Our anniversary is coming up soon, so that's really exciting. I'm actually planning on doing some wedding related videos and school is out, so I'm not working anymore and DJ is still working. So that's kind of how I'm planning to do all these videos because I need something to do while he's working. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you the house now and what I am going to do is kind of show you like the least put together rooms first and then we'll slowly work our way to the most put together rooms. But before I show you any of the rooms, I actually wanna show you the outside Okay, so what I wanted to show you in the front yard is not super thrilling, except for we took out all of the plants and everything that were in the front yard and we've covered the entire thing with plastic. This method kind of takes a while, but it's just a way to kill the front yard with no herbicides um, so that that way the soil will stay chemical free and we'll restart the whole front yard. But I don't know if you could tell from that clip, but this yard is huge like it looked kind of big before but then once we put plastic over all of it and just made it like one cohesive yard it's massive so we're kind of trying to figure out what we're gonna do landscaping wise with that but that's kind of um we're in the grass killing weed killing process right now <laughs> Okay, the next room we're gonna look at is the bedroom. This is by far the least put together room. We have a mirror from our old apartment. That's pretty much it. And then my husband actually made this bed frame, which is beautiful. It's a beautiful bed frame, but we painted it this color, which I like the color. It just does not make any sense with our bed sheets. One of my favorite parts of the bedroom is that we have this beautiful big window that goes out to the backyard. I'm planning on doing it like a butterfly slash bee garden. So there'll be like flowers and wildlife. So I'm really excited for for what that's gonna turn out to be. And then this section doesn't look super exciting, but it's actually really exciting because this whole area of the room didn't have any closet space. And we found closets at Ikea that literally perfectly fit in this space. I'm not gonna show you my side because it's not as beautifully organized, but it's got a ton of space. There's a shoe rack on the bottom that pulls out and some massive shelves. So this closet has been a godsend. Haven't really done too much with this bathroom, but we're definitely planning on redoing that shower. Okay, the next room is the second bathroom, which we honestly haven't done much with. We don't even have decorative towels, but we put a shower curtain up, so that's cool. Okay, the next room I wanna show you is my office. So I'm currently borrowing the keyboard from my sister-in-law, um, the drawer with all the little items on top of it. I had in our bedroom at our apartment, but it doesn't currently fit in our bedroom, so I put it in my office. It looks pretty nice until you turn around to the closet, which none of the closets actually have doors on them, <laughs> so we're left with this mess. The next room is the living room. So again, we haven't really done much in here, mostly because we need to get a new couch. We don't dislike the couch that we currently have, but the problem is that we can't find the matching set to it. So we're thinking about instead of just doing one L-shaped couch, we would do a couch like this one and a love seat so that that way things can get moved around. We'd be able to put a couch in front of like the fireplace if we wanted to. We're probably gonna wanna get a new coffee table as well because that one's just kind of small. We definitely need some sort of like an area rug. I don't know if this shelf is going to actually stay in the living room. It might end up in an office, but this was definitely the most put together room in our apartment. So it's kind of put together in our house now, but since we have a much larger area, it definitely doesn't feel as homey. 
So behind that door is my husband's office, but we're not going to go there. It's not decorated. It's unorganized and he's working. <laughs> so let's go to the entryway. There's not really much that we're planning on doing with the entryway. One thing that was super important for me anyways that I wanted to keep was the shoe thing. And then if you notice, the door is kind of an ugly color. <laughs> so it was pretty important to us to get a rug that actually looked kind of cute with it. And I really think that this rug pulled it together. I got it off of Ruggable, which if you follow me on Instagram, you know I did practically a whole infomercial for them the other day because I love these rugs so much. Now, one thing we are gonna do differently is instead of having this small mirror right above the shoe thing, we're gonna have one giant mirror that's gonna pretty much cover the entire wall. All right, and then finally, my favorite room, because so far it is the most put together, is the kitchen. There's definitely still a lot of stuff we have to do in here, but it's pretty much the only room we've actually bought new stuff for. The dining room table and centerpiece were all things we had from the apartment. We still have to figure out what we're gonna put on the wall behind the dining room table. We also just put up these new shelves, which I'm a huge fan of, but we had painted them white originally, and then I decided that I wanted them to be a um, dark stain instead. So we still have to do that to to these shelves, but I'm pretty happy with the way that they came out. I'm thinking about adding some like plants or something green in this area just to bring some color to it. Then if you follow me on Instagram, you also know I got those stools off of uh, Facebook Market and I really love those stools. I thought for some reason I wanted to paint the legs white, but then realized pretty much afterwards that I don't like that and I kinda wanna paint them back to like a dark metal color. One improvement we made that I love is that we turned this faucet from a chrome one into a copper one, which I am obsessed with. It looks way better and matches the rest of the hardware in the house. Currently have some succulents on the windowsill over here, which I definitely plan on having more plants in this area because it definitely gets the most light out of anywhere else in the house. And look at how incredibly beautiful some of these flowers are. Now the biggest change that we made was by getting this island, which I'm obsessed with. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, that's where I'm putting everything, but this used to have like a light wood stain and we sanded it down and stained it a dark wood color, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. It makes way more sense in the house and it goes with the hardware that we also replaced. And we have similar hardware that we're planning on putting on the rest of the cabinets and drawers as well. The last room that I'm gonna show you guys is the back patio. We drove all the way to Tillamook to get this furniture, you guys, which is a stupid far distance, honestly. I, I'm so shocked my husband went out and did this, but I love this furniture. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. I'm really excited with the way that the house is coming along so far. We have so many things we still have to do before it's, you know, up to my standards, but um, I'm loving it so far and I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe so that, that way you don't miss any videos in the future and I will see you guys next time. Bye.